Korean philosophy focused on a totality of worldview. Some aspects of shamanism, Buddhism, and Neo-Confucianism were integrated into Korean philosophy. Traditional Korean thought has been influenced by a number of religious and philosophical thought systems over the years. As the main influences on life in Korea, often Korean shamanism, Taoism, Buddhism, Confucianism and Silic movements have shaped Korean life and thought. <laughs> Buddhism Korean Buddhist thinkers refined ideas originally introduced from China into a distinct form. The Three Kingdoms of Korea introduced Buddhism to Japan, from where it was popularized in the West. Korean Buddhism consists mostly of the Son lineage, which is derivative of the Chen Zen Buddhism of China and precursor to Zen Buddhism known in the West through Japan. Buddhist temples can be found in most parts of Korea and many are considered national treasures. Confucianism Template, Korean Confucianism One of the most substantial influences in Korean intellectual history was the introduction of Confucian thought as part of the cultural exchange from China. Today the legacy of Confucianism remains a fundamental part of Korean society, shaping the moral system, the way of life, social relations between old and young, and high culture, and even survived the modernization of the legal system. Schools of thought in the Joseon period This dynasty arose out of the military dictatorship and chaos of the preceding era. Transition in this era was from Buddhism to a soldierly approach to Neo-Confucianism. Much work was done, especially on commentaries, and the Chu Shi school represented indeed the golden age of Korean religious philosophy. Metaphysical research at this time investigated the theological relations between principle I and material, vital force ki, and between as well the four beginnings Satan, and the seven feelings Chilchong, with the division of the Joseon Confucianists into two leading schools, one on force and one on principles. The philosopher Hawatam moved to integrate I and Ki and spoke of great harmony tewa. In the 4-7 debate with Ki Daesung, Togi Yi Wang, 1501-70, while being still dualistic, broke away from Chu Shi by espousing the reciprocal emanation Hobel of I and Ki, with the 4, Ki follows I when I becomes eminent, with the 7, when Ki becomes eminent, I rides Ki. Though he was critical of Togai's idea that Ki follows I as being dualistic, Yulgok Yi I, 1536-84 nevertheless embraced his notion that I rides Ki, only Ki is eminent and I moves its emanation, I and Ki are neither two things nor one thing, as evidenced by wondrous fusion Mayahap. For Yulgok, original nature I and physical nature Ki coalesce into one human nature. Togi and Yulgok, whose thoughts culminated in an irenic fusionism, constituted the crowning phase of East Asian Neo-Confucianism by exhibiting dialectical dexterity in articulating the concepts of I and Qi, left unclarified by the Chinese. Togi also developed the Neo-Confucianist concept of single-mindedness, Qiang, which was a manifestation of his unequivocal humanism, as shown by his total rejection of the Mandate of Heaven, Chunmyung, which still had a hold on the Chinese, including Chu Shi. Togai's Kyung synthesized the primeval Korean sense of supreme efforts come earnest devotion with the Confucianist notion of holding fast to mind he advocated self-efforts for creating a meaningful life. In particular, his concept of single-mindedness had a lasting influence on the Japanese Neo-Confucianists of the Tokugawa period. Every major Korean Neo-Confucianist shared Togai's preoccupation with single-mindedness, which signaled new stress on praxis in the development of Korean Neo-Confucianism. The fusion of the metaphysical and the physical is better brought about through action than speculation, important as theory might be. That was the point of Yulgok's integration of sincerity sung with single-mindedness. In this respect Korean Neo-Confucianism made a break with the Cheng Chu school of Chinese Neo-Confucianism, which was overly speculative. During the later Joseon period, Silic, a form of Neo-Confucianism, emerged. One of the most prominent Silic philosophers was Zheng Yakyong. <laughs> Western philosophy in Korea, 1890–1945 
Those who were sent to be educated in Japan, returned with limited knowledge of Western philosophy as a whole, although the German educational influence in Japan led to the beginning of interest in German idealists in Korea through indirect knowledge, with the exception of Marx, Hegel, and the dialecticians. The strong influence of Low Church Christianity, through missionary schools, led to practical American YMCA-style philosophy entering into Korea from the 1890s onwards. The discussion of Korean Christianity and Korean Christian philosophy is complicated with many divisions, and discussed in articles elsewhere. Philosophy in Korea was divided, by Western school, according to a kind of pragmatic mix of varied progressive libertarian beliefs in the South with highly variable changes from rigid authoritarianism to softer and easier more pragmatic approaches from the 1990s onwards. North Korean post-1945 philosophy In the Republican period, post-1945, Marxism-Leninism in the North was built on the Confucian Yangban scholar warriors of earlier times, if perhaps taken to absolutist extremes. The main influence in North Korea has been since 1996, the notion of the Red Banner Spirit. This system of belief encourages the North Korean people to build a Kangsong Taeguk, a fortress state, based on self-reliance and absolute loyalty to the leader Suryang. This philosophy was created by the three generals of Mount Paiktu, referring to former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il, his father Kim Il-sung and his natural mother Kim Jong-suk. Again little is known of philosophical publications on this subject, but it appears to have replaced Marxism with a home-grown nationalistic ideology. Topic. List of philosophers Topic. Buddhist philosophers Sungneng circa 6th century Wanchik 613 to 696 Wanhyo 617 to 686 Yuising 625 to 702 Uichian 1055 to 1101 Jinil 1158 to 1210 Topic Neo-Confucian philosophers Zheng Mongju 1338 to 1392 Zheng Dujian 1342 to 1398 Xiao Zhang Dok 1489 to 1546 Yi Eon Jeok 1491 to 1553 Zhou Sik 1501 to 1572, Yi Wang 1501 to 1570, Yi I 1536 to 1584, Zheng Zhidu 1649 to 1736, Zheng Yak Yang 1762 to 1836, Kim Jung Wei 1786 to 1856. Topic. Taoist philosophers Sukyong Tak 1489-1546 Ho Kian 1569-1618 Kim Shi Sup 1435-1493 I'm Yun Jideng 1721-1793 Topic Joseon period These are listed by their most commonly used pen name, followed by their birth name. Yoian Zhang Hyeon Ji Wang, 1554-1637 Hagak Zheng Zhidu, 1649-1736 Udom Zheng Si Han, 1625 1707 Sambong Zheng Du Jian, 1337-1398 Dawson Zheng Yag Yang, 1762 to 1836. Namdang Han Won Jin, 1682 to 1750. Damon Hong Tae Yang, 1731 to 1783. Nosa Gi Jung Jin, 1798 to 1876. Gobong Gi Dae Sung, 1527 to 1572. Haseo Kim In Hu, 1511 to 1560. Maywaldang Kim C S E U P, fourteen thirty five to fourteen ninety three Yangchen Guan Jun, thirteen fifty two to fourteen oh nine 
Yonam Bak G1 1737 to 1805 Siogi Bak Se Dang 1629 to 1703 Hawadam Seo Jong Dok 1489 to 1546 Yugi Seong Hun 1535 to 1598 UAM Song Si Yol 1607 to 1689 Hanju Yi Jin Sang 1818 to 1885. Hwasio Yi Hang No 1792 to 1868. Togi Yi Wang 1501 to 1570. Yulgak Yi Ai 1536 to 1584. Sung Ho Yiik 1681 to 1763. Ban Gai Yu Hyang Won 1622 to 1673. Beck Ho Yun H Y U sixteen seventeen to sixteen eighty. Topic See also Silic Siohik Tonghik Minjok Juche Songan Essence function T Yong Korean Taoism Korean Buddhism Korean Confucianism List of Korean philosophers List of Korea-related topics Contemporary culture of South Korea Religion in Korea Sanbi References Choi, Min Hong A Modern History of Korean Philosophy, Seoul, Seong Moon Sa. Deberry, Theodore ed., The Rise of Neo-Confucianism in Korea, New York, Columbia University Press, 1985.